Good evening. My name is Jeanette Nunez, and I'm proud to serve as Lieutenant Governor of the great state of Florida. Tonight, I'm honored to share my story of faith, family, and American freedom. As the daughter of Cuban immigrants, my story began in 1959, before I was born, when my parents' dreams of a prosperous life became a nightmare. Chaos spread quickly when Fidel Castro took control of Cuba. The government confiscated private property, stealing people's homes, farms, and businesses. For my parents, the difficult decision to flee communist Cuba came when the Castro regime abolished religious freedom. Fellow Americans, the fabric of our nation is in peril. Daily, the radical left systematically chisels away at the freedoms we cherish. They peddle dangerous ideologies, cower to global progressives, and normalize socialism to dismantle our Constitution. Let me assure you, socialism doesn't offer opportunity. Socialism deprives. It is a falsehood that feigns promises for its masses and consistently yields only misery. President Ronald Reagan warned, if we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. Truer words have never been spoken. Americans have a choice. We can go down a dark road of chaos and government control, or we can choose the path of freedom and opportunity that was paved by those who sacrificed everything to preserve the American dream for future generations. I have faith that Americans will choose the right path. In 2016, our country yearned for a leader who would work tirelessly to jumpstart our economy and fight for hardworking Americans. Since day one, President Donald Trump has put America first. His pro-growth, pro-jobs agenda has ushered in historically low unemployment, record job creation, higher wages, and rising home ownership. The president is fighting to rescue American jobs and industries for places like Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Puerto Rico, jobs that were needlessly shipped overseas. He's defended our religious freedom, stood with Democratic allies like Colombia, and shown unwavering resolve while confronting tyrants in countries like Venezuela, Cuba, China, and Nicaragua. Let us join our president in his vow that America will never be a socialist country. Supporting our president requires action. Join me tonight and text VOTE to 88022. We must continue to support our Commander-in-Chief, who has a bold agenda that safeguards the rights and freedoms protected under our Constitution. Today, more than ever, that means supporting our men and women in law enforcement and our heroes in uniform. It means fighting to provide the best quality education by empowering parents and preserving school choice. And it means rejecting the socialist takeover of our nation that will destroy the innovation, economic vitality, and freedoms we hold so dear. As a daughter of immigrants, a wife, a mother of three, and the first Latina Lieutenant Governor in the history of the state of Florida, it is my distinct privilege to share my story, which is really your story, and the story of a nation that has opened its doors, lifted its people, and yielded success in a way only the United States of America can. Together, let's ensure four more years for President Donald J. Trump so that he can continue protecting our republic and so one day our children can proudly tell the story of what our generation did to defend the values of faith, family, and freedom. Thank you. May God bless each one of you and may God bless the United States of America.